Chapter 163 The Hexa Elemental Silver Wolf. Huo Yuao kept his spiritual detection activated, and an eye on their surroundings. He also used it to observe the two ladies in front of him, and slowly realized that they'd used medicine and some special methods to increase their soul power to their current levels. However, their soul power lacked tenacity and didn't circulate well. It wasn't even comparable to a normal soul master who'd just reached rank 40. This wasn't something that would happen in Shrek Academy. This was a side effect of impatiently chasing success. They'd increased their soul power quickly, but their foundations were lacking. They hadn't even fully experienced the changes that had occurred as their soul power increased. Whether it was that they gathered soul power or their control of it, they definitely couldn't compare to an orthodox soul king. Would soul masters be replaced by soul engineers in the future? Huo Yuao had never thought of this question before. Even if such a thing were to happen, he probably wouldn't live to see it. KK was completely spent once she got the machine over the mountain. Thus she left the main control seat. Rather than take over, Ju Zi gestured for Huo Yuan to take her place. Huo Yuan didn't decline. He sat down in the main control seat and listened to Ju Zi's explanation of how to control the vehicle. Sitting in the main control pod felt quite different. The window in front of him wasn't very fine, but it had been specially designed to allow him a 180 degree view of the outside terrain. There were four control joysticks in front of him. One was for injecting soul power into the vehicle, while the other three joysticks were used to advance, retreat, and jump. The joystick used to inject soul power also had the ability to rotate which direction the vehicle was going. All in all, the control seemed very easy to use. However, Huo Yuan discovered some problems the moment he started to control the vehicle. He couldn't coordinate its controls well. In order to properly control this all-terrain exploration vehicle, he needed to learn the rhythm that the six mechanical legs moved in. It was only through this that he'd be able to change directions at the appropriate time. As well as control the speed of his advancement and retreat. Others might take some time to adapt and familiarize to this, but Huo Yuao held an advantage because of his spiritual detection. He was able to control the soul tool after about 10 minutes of testing, and after almost a third of his soul power had been depleted, he pushed the joystick to advance forwards, injected his soul power into the directional joystick, and then excitedly said, We're about to move. Sit tight. The soul tool then began to move under his control. Although it was a little slow when he started, the burden on his soul power had also become greater. Huo Yuao's advantage over the other two was displayed at this point. While he was only rank 40, his foundation was extremely solid. His cultivation had been greatly influenced by the ultimate ice between rank 30 and rank 40. Thus his accumulation of soul power had increased greatly. Currently, his soul power was restored a little bit every time he simply took a breath, and was also aided by the mysterious heaven technique. This was an aspect that the two ladies couldn't compare to him in. Juzi observed Huo Yuao seriously, only to reveal a stunned look. KK was equally appalled, and her reaction was even greater than Juzi's. Huo Yuao had seemed a bit rusty when he started to use the all-terrain exploration vehicle, but that had only lasted for the first 10 minutes. After some minor adjustments, he managed to control the speed of the all-terrain exploration vehicle pretty well. This huge metal ball seemed quite imperious from the outside. Its speed gradually increased, and its direction continuously adjusted. When the metal ball encountered any barriers, it always managed to jump up at just the right time. It could jump up to 12 meters into the air, the amount that it did being completely controlled by the joystick. As such, Huo Yuan was able to have the vehicle jump to the appropriate height at the appropriate time without wasting any energy at all every time. As time passed, Huo Yuan's control over the vehicle became better and better. The all-terrain exploration vehicle seemed to have come alive as it burst forwards. It was extremely rapid, and its traits were greatly exhibited. KK mumbled, Is this really the first time he's controlled this all-terrain exploration vehicle? Chu Zi nodded slightly and said, It should be. But KK was doubtful. Chu Zi smiled. Sometimes you have to admit that there are geniuses in the world. Isn't he a good example? KK shook her head speechlessly and said, I don't believe it. Even if he is a genius, he'd still need some time to grasp the controls. Sister Ju Zi, do you know how he did it? Ju Zi nodded and said, If I'm not wrong, it's because of his spiritual type martial soul. Think about it. If you can judge the geography of our location and accurately pinpoint the condition of the all terrain exploration vehicle, wouldn't controlling it to be much simpler? After a period of training and adapting, training and adapting, he'll be able to control this soul tool better than both of us. KK asked, but wouldn't that require a lot of calculations? Juzi rolled her eyes and said, do you honestly think that this guy lacks the ability to do such a thing? I finally understand why the academy has been searching for spiritual type soul masters. Spiritual type soul masters have a unique advantage when it comes to controlling and creating soul tools. No wonder teachers and things so highly of him. Who are you? I could hear what the two of them were saying, but he was immersed in controlling the soul tool. His soul power continued to deplete, but he realized that he didn't need to continuously inject his soul power to keep the vehicle moving. There were six cumulative formation arrays inside of the vehicle. These formation arrays would gather the soul power he injected before they absorbed it. Following this, his soul power would then be transferred to the other formation arrays. If he continued to inject his soul power, a small portion of his soul power would be wasted in the process of being transferred between the formation arrays. He was able to tell that this was happening through his spiritual detection, which in turn allowed him to conserve his soul power. Furthermore, his regenerative abilities were superior to those of most ordinary soul masters, which was why he still had some soul power left despite controlling it for nearly 30 minutes. Right as Huo Yuao was exploring the magical effects of the vehicle, his spiritual detection sent him a warning. The all-terrain exploration vehicle suddenly stopped, and its six mechanical legs descended into a half squatting stance. Huo Yuao then scanned one direction in particular with his spiritual detection. A two meter tall, wolf like soul beast appeared and gazed at the all-terrain exploration vehicle warily. It then let out a deep hooting sound, as if it were trying to demonstrate its might. It was Huo Yuao's first time seeing this wolf. It was silvery white, while its fur appeared metallic. An intense radiance was reflected off of it, which made it seem as if it were glowing under the sun. Huo Yuao couldn't tell what the soul beast's cultivation was from its appearance. It's a rare soul beast, a silver wolf. Based on its size, it should have a cultivation of around 3,000 years. You are aware. Huo Yuan nodded, then asked, What kind of soul beast is this silver wolf? How come I'm not familiar with it? Juzi replied, The silver wolf is a special soul beast in the Sun Moon Empire. It's a metal element soul beast, but it's not any ordinary soul beast. It's very difficult to deal with, and it feeds on mithril. The silver wolf needs to consume massive amounts of mithril to break through its own bottleneck like humans need a soul ring when they reach a bottleneck. There's a rumor that a silver wolf king appeared in the past with cultivation of 10,000 years. It managed to resist two soul duo before escaping with injuries. A silver wolf emperor with a 100,000 year cultivation and above has never appeared before. A silver wolf's fur and bones are extremely useful materials for making soul tools with, while their meat is quite delicious and can strengthen the body of a soul master. KK eagerly said, Let me go out. I have a way to deal with it. Huo Yuan said, Let me go instead. Be careful. The silver wolf had already launched an attack while they were speaking. It was evidently unhappy with the metal ball in front of it, as its silver first started to shine, and it spat out a silver ball of light towards it. The silver ball of the silver ball of light didn't make any sound as it shot through the air. However, the silver light transformed the moment it near the all-terrain exploration vehicle. It became a diameter white fireball, then sped towards the all-terrain exploration vehicle. Huo Yuao was also shocked. He rushed to make the all-terrain exploration soul tool jump, barely managing to evade the fireball. Even so, two of the vehicle's mechanical legs were struck, which caused the balance of the all-terrain exploration vehicle to be affected. Huo Yuao quickly corrected the all-terrain exploration vehicle to prevent it from collapsing. The silver wolf unleashed a second silver ball of light at that moment. Huo Yuao thought that it would turn into another fireball, but the silver light turned into ten
Your fighting style creates too much emotion. I didn't expect to meet such a rare soul beast after just entering the Jingyang Mountain Range. Who are you? I didn't say anything after he heard her words. He slammed his right hand beside his seat, and the window above him opened to either side. His body was ejected like a cannonball. The Silver Wolf couldn't overcome the class 5 soul tall barrier easily. It was even shocked as Huo Yuan suddenly appeared. As the Silver Wolf lifted its head, it spat out a silver ball of light. It was yet another wind type attack. Many wind blades covered the entire area, and Huo Yuan couldn't possibly dodge. Diamond ice crystals appeared and shone extremely brightly under the sun. They were even more dazzling than the silver light on the Silver Wolf's body. The wind blades couldn't penetrate Huo Yuan's ice empress armor. Six metal barrels appeared on Huo Yuan's body at this point, and were fired in the direction of the Silver Wolf. Six streaks of light instantly shot out. The Silver Wolf was extremely quick and spat out a few more silver light balls as it leapt backwards. They formed layers of water curtains in the air, which weakened the soul rays. By the time the soul rays reached it, it managed to dodge them easily. Huo Yuan landed on the ground following this strike and started to lope towards the Silver Wolf like a panther. The Silver Wolf was. The Silver Wolf was evidently more adept at long range attacks. As it retreated, it continued to spit out balls of silver light towards Huo Yuao. However, Huo Yuao had a deeper understanding of the Silver Wolf after Juzi and KK introduced it to him. The element contained within the Silver Wolf's silver light balls couldn't be concealed from him. He used his spiritual detection to detect it. Three white soul rings rose from Huo Yuao's legs and started to shine brightly. The two ladies who were watching him were shocked. What was happening? Huo Yuao didn't dare to reveal too many of his abilities since Juzi had threatened him. Right now, he was using all three of his soul skills at the same time. A purplish golden radiance flashed across his eyes before disappearing. The Silver Wolf screamed pathetically before falling into convulsions on the ground. It writhed around in pain for a few seconds before staggering back to its feet. However, it didn't appear to be clear-headed anymore. Mass enfeeblement and spiritual interference had struck it at the same time. Huo Yuao was the one most surprised at this point. He thought that the Silver Wolf was nearly a few thousand years old, and thus its spiritual power should be inferior to him by a lot. Even if it didn't die from his spiritual shock, it should be almost half dead. However, it was able to crawl up. This was beyond what Huo Yuan had expected. Was this Silver Wolf a spiritual type soul beast? However, it only had 3,000 years of cultivation. It wasn't suitable enough for him. He did not slow down even though he was thinking in his head. When the spiritual shock was unleashed, he had already charged forward. The intense radiance from a class 5 soul thrust up behind his back. He increased his speed to the limit instantly and reached the Silver Wolf just as it stood up. He struck with his right hand. The purplish golden radiance flashed from Huo Yuan's eyes again. He didn't give the Silver Wolf any chance to catch its breath. He unleashed the spiritual shock once again, causing the Silver Wolf's seven apertures to spurt blood. His dark golden terracolor stabbed into the back of the Silver Wolf's neck and tore into its central nerves. The entire fighting process was very simple. The 3,000-year-old Silver Wolf was repressed so heavily by Huo Yuao that it couldn't resist at all. Juzi looked at the wide-eyed KK with an amused expression. Do you still think we can beat him in the wild? KK muttered. He's too scary when he engages in close combat. That's a 3,000-year Silver Wolf. However, it was completely helpless against him. Since when did a Silver Wolf become so weak? I've heard that such soul beasts are very strong. Juzi sighed. The Silver Wolf isn't weak. He's just too strong. Before his last strike, the Silver Wolf had already lost its ability to resist after being struck by his soul skills. His twin martial souls are indeed scary. I think even a class six or seven soul engineer wouldn't be able to resist him if he gets close. KK was a little indignant as she said. Then don't let him come close. Juzi shook her head helplessly and said, "You say it like it's so simple. Didn't you see what he used to increase his speed? That was a class five soul thruster. Even a class seven soul engineer wouldn't dare to." Use it so easily. Aren't you aware of its impact on one's body? With our physical strength, we wouldn't even be able to use a class 3 soul thruster a few times. He only has three rings. Although his soul power has reached rank 40, he is still considered brave to attempt the use of a class 5 soul thruster. Furthermore, he was still able to attack after using it. What does that mean? Cake. KK didn't speak. She naturally knew what it meant. It It meant that Huo Yuao was much stronger than they had imagined. How strong must his body be to withstand such an immense, instantaneous thrusting force? With their current abilities, they could only manage to sustain it for somewhere between 50 and 200 meters. Beyond that range, they needed stationary soul tools to maintain sufficient offensive strength. A class 5 soul tool increased Huo Yuao's speed such that he moved 100 meters in a second. This meant that he moved 200 meters every time he inhaled. How would they stand a chance against him with his physical strength and impressive close combat abilities? He must be quite extraordinary in Shrek Academy. Too, KK said softly. Juzi nodded lightly. Perhaps the seemingly weakest out of the exchange students is actually the core of everything. All right, this doesn't really concern us. Don't talk of this matter when you return either. After all, we enjoyed his delicacies. Huo Yuao had already returned with the Silver Wolf as they spoke. A flashing purple soul ring rose from it. Brother Skydream, wake up. Who are you out slowed down intentionally? He called for the Sky Dream Iceworm, as he needed answers to his questions. He was actually tempted by this Silver Wolf's soul ring. For most soul masters, their fourth soul ring should come from a thousand year soul beast. If he had no choice, he could accept this three thousand year soul ring. Little you out, you haven't disturbed me in a long time. The Sky Dream Iceworm answered lazily. It didn't sound fully awake yet. However, it was still very happy that Who are you out woke him up. Brother Sky Dream, I'm in a special soul beast found only in the Sun Moon Empire. Help me see if it's a spiritual type. I can't be sure. He quickly described the Silver Wolf's abilities. Oh. The Sky Dream Iceworm used the projection in his spiritual seed to observe the Silver Wolf as he heard Huo Yuao's description. When Huo Yuao reached the all terrain exploration soul tool, it gave him a definite answer. This soul beast is supposed to be a mix of elements that doesn't possess all the elemental powers? That is not possible for a soul beast. It's only tapping into its affinity with the various elements and its own immense spiritual power to control the elemental powers. The metal that it consumes is probably only effective in increasing its affinity toward the different elements. Otherwise, it would be able to exhibit more than just the basic elemental powers. Yes, you can adopt it as your fourth soul ring. However, this Silver Wolf is too weak and isn't suitable for you. I didn't expect to see such a fun soul beast. If you meet another one of the same species with a cultivation of at least 10,000 years, you must not let it go. I believe that its soul skill should be rather good. Although it may not be an offensive type soul skill, it can enhance your overall abilities as well as your mass enfeeblement. All right, thanks. Who are you out with the Silver Wolf's corpse away in his storage type soul tool before re entering the all terrain exploration soul tool? Juzi gave him a thumbs up as a compliment. Who are you out only smiled and asked, How do you plan to deal with this Silver Wolf? Juzi said, If you're willing to sell it, I can help you. It should fetch a good price. You can keep it for now. The Silver for now, the Silver Wolf's fur will prevent its corpse from rotting. We'll deal with it once we return to the Academy. I believe that the Silver Wolf isn't a spiritual type soul beast, but its spiritual powers should be quite strong. Otherwise, it shouldn't be able to control the elements to attack. Aren't you going to try it? Also, why did your soul rings turn white just now? Who are you? I shook his head slightly and said, It's not what I want yet. As for the color of my soul rings, can I have three ten year soul rings? As he spoke, he also laughed. This was an answer that no one would believe. Juzi pursed her lips. She had already returned to her gentle persona and managed to conceal her thoughts well. Who are you? I pondered for a moment and said, Wolves are usually very
KK said it righteously, we have to go together, don't forget that we're soul kings, three is always better than one in terms of safety, although your close combat skills are outstanding, our soul tools are rather powerful too, our survival skills are equally as good as yours, who are you I was stunned, he didn't expect that this young lady who continuously clashed with him was actually offering help to him at this critical moment, who are you I could see the sincerity in her eyes, Juzi also nodded and said, KK is right, we can't let you take the risk alone, it's always safer with three rather than one, furthermore, we're the ones who are familiar with the Jin Yang mountain range, let's go together. Are you scared that we'll drag you down? I know what you're going to do. You're going to scatter the Silver Wolf's blood on the all-terrain exploration vehicle to threaten the lower-level soul beasts, not to come close to us. It's also a good way to test the survival capabilities of the all-terrain exploration vehicle. Who are you? I glanced at KK before turning to look at Juzi. He said seriously. However, that is very dangerous. The Silver Wolf's blood may attract other types of soul beasts, which can be very strong. Think about it carefully. This all-terrain exploration vehicle can't ensure our absolute safety. KK was a little impatient as she said, Are you a girl? Why are you so pushy? Let's go. If your soul power is gone, I can take the controls. Who are you? I nodded at the two of them as he glanced over them. Although Juzi had revealed her internal thoughts before, who are you? I had a feeling that it was because he was like a father figure to her. That was why she wouldn't hurt him. All right, I will protect both of you as long as I'm alive. Juzi sat lazily in her seat and replied to him. It's still too early to tell who'll be protecting who. Just remember that you need to feed us. Who are you? I'll stay. Who are you? I'll stay stiffened. And he shook his head in annoyance. He couldn't help but think, Are they following me because they want me to cook for them? Who are you? I didn't set off immediately. He made some minor adjustments and only moved off after his soul power had been restored to about half. He controlled the all-terrain exploration vehicle with ease. Following the experience that he had already accumulated, he would only slow down if they had to pass through a dense forest. He passed mountain after mountain, but didn't rush to scatter the silver wolf's blood. They also met a few soul beasts along the way, but they were all below a thousand years in cultivation. Who are you? I used the simplest method to deal with them. He ran them over. This all-terrain exploration vehicle had used a lot of the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy's resources, and the materials used to construct it were very tough. Soul beasts below a thousand years cultivation couldn't cause any damage to it. The quality of soul beasts in the Jingyang Mountain Range was evidently lower than that of soul beasts in the Great Sado Forest. As they followed the branching trails to get closer to the main trail in the forest, they didn't bump into a single 10,000 year soul beast, including the silver wolf. Only three soul beasts attacked them. The other two perished at Hua Yuan's hands and became food. Hua Yuan didn't mind set up a fire in the Jingyang mountain range. Lunch was yet another feast. However, it was different from the grilling the night before. He made soup this time using silver wolf meat. The silver wolf's bones and fur were preserved, and its blood was smeared on the all-terrain exploration vehicle. Its meat became their delicacy. Hua Yuan only decided on his cooking style after examining the quality of the silver wolf's meat. The silver wolf's meat was quite tough, not tender enough for grilling, which would make it difficult to chew. After a period of cooking, it would taste nicer when it was softer. He indeed had the sense of a father, just like Juzi had said. His delicious meat super left Juzi and KK pleased. They revealed a greater trust and reliance on Hua Yuan in their eyes. Hua Yuan, I'm going to stick to you from today onwards. As long as you're in the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy. You have to cook for me. KK exclaimed. Juzi teased. You made him your chef. But what are you going to offer? Your body. Err. KK's face turned red. However, she threw a threatening look at Hua Yuao and said, Do you dare to demand anything from me? No, I don't. Hua Yuao answered smoothly. KK wanted to scare him, but she didn't expect him to answer so readily. She said dismally, I'm smart, intelligent, and cute. What expression is this? Why are you dare to make a demand? Hua Yuao chortled and answered, Even if I said I wanted something, you wouldn't budge. I'm only saying what you want to hear. I'm really maligned. Do you want me to beg you to be my girlfriend before you'll dump me to one side? KK nodded her head forcefully and said, That should be the case. However, I may give you a chance if you continue your cooking. It's a pity you're a little young. Tell me, how old are you? Hua Yuao smiled and said, 14, going on 15. Silence. Turned heads. Eye contact. Ah, uh, KK and Juzi screamed at the same time, shocking who are you are, even a few weeks old beasts that were observing them were startled, and fled in fear. You're only 14. How are you only 14? You look more like 18. Furthermore, you're already at rank 40 at 14 years old, and possess twin martial souls. You're inhuman. KK exclaimed in disbelief. Who are you are rubbed his nose and said, I grew a little faster. You don't have to be so appalled. As for cultivation, the two of you are only three or four years older than me, but you're sulking's already. I may not even be a sulking at your ages. KK shook her head forcefully and replied, Although I look young, I must say that I'm already 19 years old. Sister Juzi is almost 20. We're five years older than you. Generation gap. There's definitely a generation gap. Juzi chuckled and said, It's fine. An older wife can be as loving as a mom. You still have a chance. You're the mom. It's a pity that I don't have a sister, otherwise, I could introduce him to her. After interacting for a day, the three of them had become completely familiar with one another. Their relationship also became closer after what they had gone through together. Ju and KK had trained with Wang Xiaodei and Zem in the past, but they seemed to be more secure with Hua Yuan now. After lunch, the three of them took a short break. They only continued after their soul power was restored to their peak levels. Hua Yuan remained seated in the main control pod. Before he moved off, he turned to the two ladies and said, I've already smeared the silver wolf's blood on the all-terrain exploration vehicle. It's too late for regrets now. KK snapped. Enough with the crap. Let's go. Who are you? I wasn't impatient as he said. If the two of you insist on following me, I must insist on being the team leader from this point on. Although I'm not fully aware of your abilities, you must listen to my instructions. I am definitely more experienced in dealing with soul beasts than the two of you. I can guarantee our safety if we don't need a hundred thousand year soul beast or many ten thousand year soul beasts. Juzi offered her position to him easily. All right, you can be the team leader. Who are you? I said. Then let's move off. Seniors, remember not to leave the all-terrain exploration vehicle easily, no matter what. This soul tool is able to withstand more damage than you described earlier. It can unleash your soul tools through the windows too. If there's a fight, leave it to me. The two of you just need to reinforce me with firepower. KK snapped. Why do I feel more like trash the more I listen to you? Stop spouting gibberish and let's go. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.